Thank you for sharing your responses on the forum. Now, in writing all of this code, we've seen a lot of new words. Let's review all of them. So here I have both of my programming files on the screen at the same time. Here's my first programming file where I'm making the class movie, and the second one where I'm defining instances of that class, instances like Toy Story and Avatar. Now, you may have to go into full screen mode to be able to read all of the details on the screen. Okay, let's start reviewing all of the new words. So we started out by defining a class. The class keyword allows us to make classes. You can think of a class as a blueprint and a class can have both data and methods. Now we can create multiple instances of a class. In this case, we created instances like Toy Story and Avatar. We could have created many more. Now, when we create an instance of a class, instance like Toy Story, the class's constructor gets called. This is essentially the init method inside the class. It is here that we initialize all of the data associated with the instance. The constructor uses the keyword self. Now, you can think of self as itself or the instance in question. So when the instance Toy Story is getting created, self is Toy Story. All of the variables associated with a specific instance are called instance variables. Now, these are unique to an object and can be accessed using the self keyword inside the class and the instance name outside the class. And finally, all of the functions inside the class that are associated with an instance and have the first argument as self are called instance methods. So there you have it, all of the new words that we have learned thus far right there on one screen.